I would, what am I doing with my head? Words are hard. Oh, I didn't clap. There's my clap. Hey, it's Geneva, and I am not your average oddity. I swear I'm not. <laughs> I'm not wearing any makeup. I am wearing one of my favorite shirts, like to wear on a lazy day, post-work day. And I'm giving you a slightly laid back version of myself because I decided that I want to talk about things that I want to see in my life. You know that song, Dear Younger Me? It's by Mercy Me. It's a really good song, really good band. Anyways, um, the song's premise is basically things that they wish they could have told their younger selves. And I wasn't really contemplating about that song. Um, I'm just kind of reflecting overall. I'm very reflective in general. I tend to rethink things. Hashtag anxiety problems. I tend to overthink and I tend to revisit past things and I tend to try and figure out what I could have done differently in life very often. I know they say you probably shouldn't do that, but I can't help it. And I've learned a lot just in the past year, a lot during the pandemic. Most of the groundwork was laid before the pandemic started, but most of the growth I've experienced in the past two years has been during a pandemic. <sighs> it takes a lot of work to forgive yourself. It takes a lot of work to allow yourself to heal from things. It's not easy. Something I thought about today, because right now, um, I'm in a new leadership position and I'm trying to navigate what it means to be a leader. Not just what it means to be a leader, but what it means to lead a team. And it's not like when you're in college and you're the team leader. And that just means you do the bulk of the group work in the project and then complain about it. That's not what this type of leadership is. This is you're in a team with a bunch of adults who all are putting in the absolute 100% best effort they can because they want to see it succeed. And you have to be the one to see it all the way through to the end and make sure that every team member has the opportunity to succeed as well as the team as a whole. That's the type of leader I have to be now and that is terrifying. That is some grown-up stuff that, as someone in her mid-twenties, I haven't necessarily had to really handle before now. And now I just gotta learn it by doing it, which is a struggle. <laughs> but one of the things I was reflecting on is when I was a kid, I was this boisterous girl, just full of life and full of zest and I would always just do whatever I thought was right and I never cared what anyone thought as long as I was doing what was right. And there was a tenacity that I'm missing now. At some point in my life, I stopped going from the carefree girl to cares too much girl <laughs> who analyzes every single decision I could possibly make and how it would affect everyone around me. And I think that is important. I don't think you should just make decisions without any forethought at all. That's not, you know, very responsible. And that's not really a good decision making strategy. But I do wonder why I can't be more like that girl. The girl who evaluated the situation, decided this is what's right, and just did it. Just made the decision because she went with her gut. I think I'm gonna try and let that girl, because I know she's in here, she's right here. I'm gonna try and let her come out more. I don't know why I locked her up in the first place, but I miss her. 
there's a lot of little things that I tucked away and I miss. <sighs> Sorry that got real. <laughs> Life got real. <laughs> it's not simple anymore. It's not simple anymore. Well, thank you for listening to my random deep live chat. If you feel me, if I pass the vibe check, give me a like, give me a follow, chat with me in the comments, do your thing. I'll see you next time.